Hey dear fellow content creators, ever wished you could elevate your video editing game using Zoom effect on CapCut PC? Yes, I'm here for you. Well, you're in the right place and I'm going to show you today how to do game changing Zoom effect using CapCut PC and this footage you can see here. What are you going to learn? You're going to learn a professional way of doing Zoom. I'm going to show you two ways of doing Zoom effects in CapCut and I'm sure you're going to love it. This is going to be one of the best tutorial you watch today. Uh, we're just going to get straight right to it. I'm going to show you the first method and trust me, you want to stay to the end because the second method will take your editing game to a whole new level. Yes, this is a CapCut zoom pc tutorial so let's get straight right onto it so i'm gonna bring in the footage so the first way we're gonna do this is the traditional way which is the cut and zoom so let's do that you press your control b if you're on desktop that should be command b if you're on mac so you press there let's assume we want to zoom in this frame so we are going to do the control B again. So we have that. Then we can move to this other part again one more time. And we can cut that part. This is the first one and this is not the best way to do it. So control B. So now you can click on one of the clip. And then you just come over to where it says scale. And then you can scale this particular one. Okay. So you see. We can scale this particular one. Remember, you want it to be on the frame you, you, you are working with. And we can go on, as you can see, so it's going to move from this to this and back to that one. Okay, so that is one way of doing it, which is not smooth. It's really not smooth. If you go through the video, you realize it's not smooth at all. This is just the old way of doing it, as you can see how it's looking. Now let me show you the very best way to do zoom cap cut PC effect effectively. Yes, let's take this out. Let's delete that and bring in our footage again. And this time we are going to be using the best method yet. And guess what that method is? It's called the keyframe method. All right. So we're going to be doing the keyframe method where we're going to be scaling positioning and size okay so first of all we want to put the first keyframe so you click on it you see we have the first keyframe as you can see and you can now do your shift and forward cursor to move frame forward okay forward arrow or back arrow to move the keyframe and there we can add a zoom effect by scaling now and once we do that you see we have we already have a keyframe added again so we are going to keep doing that and once you do that you can also reposition it so let's do our shift key again and move some frame forward and then we can zoom scale more right if that's how we want it as you can see we've added another keyframes and then we can move forward again and then we can also zoom it totally in like this that's another keyframe so i'm showing you two ways you can drag it and then we can also position it like that okay so that will add a position keyframe there then we can go over again and zoom out finally and we have another scale we reduce the scale again back to the original size okay to the original size of 100 okay and so we have two keyframes working for us and now if we go over and play all from the beginning you're going to see how professionally looking and smooth it's going to be so let's play that and you see it for yourself okay Okay, let's play that so you see it for yourself remember we have to do that last position in keyframe to make it a full video now let's play back so 
so you see how professional looking it is now let's do it one more time and you see how smooth it is compared to the first method so yes we've added that cinematic view to it and now you can go on and make your own keyframe thanks for watching and have a lovely day stay blessed oh.